Apparently, dating Asian men is now normalized. The question is, how has this affected your life, if it has at all? Yeah, we got a list breaking it down for you guys today, so make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, check out SmallLastSauce, SmallLastSauce.com. Andrew, this went viral on Reddit. It says, how has the slow normalization of non-Asian females dating Asian men affected you guys? Real quick, Andrew, I wanna ask you a question. Do you wholeheartedly agree that this slow, slow normalization is occurring? Yes. I believe what so. Are, what are the caveats? Because like you said, what, that's it? Or is there no, details? No, I mean, I think it has helped everybody a little bit. And, you know, it's added, uh, inspired a lot of guys. But obviously dudes who have a certain look or are in a certain environment or were in a certain position saw the boost, like saw a, a, a tremendous boost. And of course, David, it's been a, a constant progression up and up. But again, like, you know, certain guys with certain looks were first in line and then it's the second in line and the third in line. And now maybe the guys who are fourth in line are getting their chance. And I will say this, I think it is strongest amongst Gen Z, which is people about under 27 years old. Okay. Um, I think millennials, it could go either way. Gen X, you're going to see the least, but still some probably divorced realistically for single in your Gen X, right? Um, I do think K-pop and anime had a big portion to play with mm -hmm. it, right? Um, I do think that racially ambiguous Filipino guys have been doing good for 20 years since the B-boy days, at least yes. on the coast. Yes, But uh, it was because possibly Latino passing. I do think geography, demographic, uh, demographic dependent matters. I do think it's mostly impacted, agree or disagree with me, Andrew, Latina women and semi-white women, like Eastern European women the most. Like I can agree. At, at, a, at a higher intensity level, that, right? Those seem to be more of the couples I see, is what I mean. Right, right, right. It's based off. Um, and I feel like it's slowly gotten more normal for everybody, though. But like you said, it depends on your archetype. Let's get into number one. The first reaction to the slow normalization of dating Asian guys has been that it makes people overall more motivated. Yeah, and I think uh, this is good. This is good. It's, it's, it's encouraging. I think when you see the media and you see your friends doing well or people you know doing well, getting more matches on the apps than they were seven, eight years ago, if they're still on the apps after seven, eight years, and a lot of people were. Um, so you're saying that you need a positive feedback loop to even start trying, right? Is it like Malcolm Gladwell's hockey analogy that he had where he was like, all the best hockey players were the oldest kids and then they were the most dominant and then they were the most dominant they got the most positive feedback made them hockey players. Yeah, and I think that it's unfortunate that the guys needed this much to motivate them, but that's human and it makes sense. I mean, I would say overall, I mean, yeah, just it makes sense, yeah. You're, well, you're saying there's hope now and when you're hopeless, sometimes people give up sure. when there's no hope and now there's hope. Um, somebody said this guy was talking about if you're 40 years old and you're out at the bar with your friends, maybe you, some of you guys are married, some of you guys are divorced, maybe some of you guys just never got married, some Latinas will come talk to you at the bar. Right. So basically, these guys are just saying, man, I'm no longer invisible in a way that 10 years ago, there's, I couldn't even imagine being visible to these women. Yeah, and I think that especially if you're in that age range, there's a lot of, uh, you know, those women have probably dated around, kind of made up their decision. They've learned a lot, and now they're like, I don't want to put it in a bad way, but they're giving Asian guys a chance finally. And they're like, hey, you know, I always thought Asians were cute, but maybe it wasn't socially acceptable for right. me. You'd have to understand, guys, and this is maybe this is encouraging to know or sad to know that for a long time, actually more women were actually attracted to Asian men, but maybe something about their community or family or culture was actually fighting against that. Not every person comes from a super open-minded family so that that's why they weren't uh, even looking at you I was guys. just waiting for them to like kind of win some Oscars and once they won some Oscars and some Golden Globes that's yeah. when they became visible to me yeah hey, do you think it'd be funny if some Latina girls went up to the 40 year old Asian guys and they're like hey are you guys new at this bar I just noticed <laughs> you guys and they're like uh well we've been coming here for about 17 years as a group of friends but nice to meet you <laughs> <laughs> um yeah that's actually pretty funny uh somebody said uh Number three, it only matters if you're Korean and Gen Z and have the look. This is what uh, some people had this reaction. Agree or disagree? Well, we just saw from the first example that this guy who's like 40 years old and Asian and maybe not Korean. Maybe he's Chinese, right? Yeah, yeah, is already seeing a boost, uh, seeing a little bit more attention, feeling that people are more open-minded. So overall, I'm going to disagree with this statement, but I get what they're trying to say. They're trying to point out that if you're tall, skinny, with the 15, 16% body fat, you got the 
a uh, two block curtain haircut with the perm and you look East Asian, possibly Korean and you hang out and you eat Korean barbecue and you're fluid at the Asian right, bars. Right. You have access to um, the NRBs and this exclusive world that's opened up to the Korea booze. I will say this. That's the closest to the blast zone though. Yes. Those people are seeing, they, they got blasted up with the rocket for sure. They're riding the rocket the hardest. Right, right. Other guys, hey, listen guys, still on the hot air balloon but maybe not the SpaceX rocket right. shooting into outer orbit. Like, Again, guys, I think results. everything is encouraging. Everything should be encouraging to everybody. Number four, Andrew. I'm married out of the game, but I'm just happy thinking about how much my pro prouder my daughter is going to be able to be than the women that, from my generation. Oh, so this guy, this Asian father is not talking about dating at all. He's like, yo, I just am glad that I'm probably not going to raise a self-hating Asian daughter. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's, I mean, no, I mean, listen, there's more material to be proud of. There's more people. It doesn't mean that every... Asian girl is going to date an Asian guy. That's not actually, that doesn't actually mean that's not correlated. Well, it's just, it's just that everybody's going to be a little bit more proud. Even the guys, because there's a lot of self-hating guys even growing up. Too. I think that this is what's going to happen. His daughter, whether she ends up with an Asian guy or whatever guy, white guy, black guy, Spanish guy, will have dated an Asian guy in her life at the end of her life though. Yeah. Whereas I do think for the millennial and Gen X, a lot of Asian women to be, not all by the way, guys, I'm just saying. They never even dated an Asian guy once in their Dude, life. Dude, have you ever met an Asian father? And I felt like I felt this from one guy I met where he was like, uh, he kind of, he didn't say it, but he, they felt like, dang, my, like none of my two daughters like dated Asian guys. Like, right. Not yeah. even one kiss one on the cheek. Yeah. Oh, and then, cause they're an Asian man. So of course you would like for them to have, maybe they didn't meet the right guy or whatever. They weren't around him. It was, you know, I don't know if it's his fault at all, but mom the mom's uh doing too or maybe just the environment right right Anyways. well it obviously depends sometimes on those guys like which type of white guy your daughter ended up with like if it was like the upper crust illuminati type then you know oh, i'll take it um number five andrew uh this guy said for me and he he did qualify this i've always been rich and tall but i always dated non-asian women my entire life for the last 20 years but i will say this it's nice to see my fellow Asian bros and friends who weren't as tall as Rich and me finally be able to do it. Oh, wow, man, 20 years. Yeah, so, no, this guy's probably like in his late 30s or 40s, maybe, and he's seeing it now. I agree with this because in the past, Andrew, there was guys, if you hit certain super rare stats on like looks, height, and wealth, you could overcome it. Mm -hmm. But I think that this guy's just happy for the guys who didn't have, you know, yeah. Check mark, check yeah, mark, check yeah. mark. He's I, like, he's like, well, you don't gotta be tall and rich anymore. I mean, let's even put it this way: like, obviously, like growing up, I had like we dated different types of girls, you know. But I would say on the apps, you would see a boost now, like yeah, a right, visible right, right. boost amongst non-Asian women on the apps. And usually, if you first, if you ever use the apps like ten years ago, you would know that you were getting hard hard swipe right, left right, like right. if you were asian and i think the women are more attractive nowadays too to be yeah. honest like yeah. like even if this guy was dating eastern european women like 15 years ago he might be getting svetlana the, I, the baddie bad right now Svetis. i i actually believe that uh people in general the good looking people got better looking so women got better looking because well, like more makeup, toolkits, right? makeup and like contouring and lashes and hair stuff. I mean, there's a trillion all things. All the yeah. knowledge, it just made women better looking. Um, I still think that obviously like looks matter for sure. Like for the type of non-Asian female you're going to attract, if you're like a better looking Asian guy, you have more options of the non-Asian women sure. realistically. I do see a lot of guys nowadays in the streets, Andrew, who look like Lord's ex-boyfriend, the singer Lord, mm. with a girl who kind of looks like Lord. Yeah, yeah. But skinny, just usually larger. Skinny, skinny, artsy photographer, Asian guy. But, but, yeah, yeah. Archetype. But sometimes the girl don't fully look like Lord and is not a superstar. Anyway, point number six, Andrew. This guy said, yeah, I've been getting a lot of attention from non-Asian females, but I'm realizing they're not hitting my BMI requirement. They're too big. Mm. Um, This is a really interesting... Point. Yeah, I'd have to see how this guy looks. Uh, he might be a little bit beefy himself, but maybe he's not. Maybe he's talking about, like, I feel like I'm not getting matched with my equal, my body equal. Yes, yes, yes. I will say this. If you want, the, the, the women, the, 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 some of the times they're bigger. That's what I noticed. The non-Asian women that are, like, aggressively pursuing Asian men. Okay. Sometimes they're bigger. Possibly, yeah. Um, I will say this. Asian guys also have, like, kind of high standards for BMI. That is and, true. Like, like, 
culturally. That is true. Like, like even for Asian American girls, they're like, oh, you were in the weight room too much. Like, oh, you're taking creatine. Horrible. Super classic to see like a slimmer Latino guy with a th way thicker Latina girlfriend. Like I, that is very common. Like, let's be honest. Like they, they, they like it. Yeah, for so sure. It's, 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 it's but, just, uh, different cultures are different. They, yeah, for sure. Like, One thing I will say this about Asian guys dating, and I always felt this way. I felt like Asian guys did kind of narrow their choices down a notch too much. You're saying that that was an element in the barren times. Yeah, yeah. It did prevent Asian guys from dating and, and just meeting different types of people because they were a little too picky. I've heard this from non-Asian women too from the past. Yeah. And I think it pushed section. some of the thick Asian women away from Asian guys too. Yeah. Because they weren't getting too. valued amongst the Asian guys. Listen guys, it was Listen, no guy, Asian guys, you kind of, you got to take some fault for that. All right. Um, this guy basically said, man, you know what has been really interesting about me that I've noticed since the slow normalization of dating Asian men? It op has opened me up to a lot of different relationship lifestyles because I've found that other types of women, particularly white females, are much more open to open relationships or polygamy. And then, you know, he supplied some photos and some breakdowns. Yeah. Because uh... it is true that second generation immigrants typically not going to lean into the open relationship, open marriages or polygamy as much, in my opinion. Yeah, no, no, because, no it's true. Bro, we come from okay. Asia and we just got here. We trying to like stabilize our, um, what's it called? Our lineages or whatever. That's not necessarily going to stabilize it, right? I, I have an Asian guy friend who uh, dates a white girl and is in, in an open relationship with her. And most... Asian couples I know of. In fact, I can't even name one oh, off no, the top of my head. No, she got purple hair. She got purple hair. Let's keep it real. Yeah, she might. Or frizzy hair yeah. or whatever. I don't know. But, like, basically, it's less common to find that amongst Asians. Asians not rocking with that. There's still a little bit of notch. Now, I feel tradition. like a lot of Asians, obviously, not all are still chasing the American dream. You mm -hmm. know, like, in a way, yeah. like, uh, you know, probably a house picket fence, but also some rental properties on the side. Anyway, I will say this. It is interesting, Andrew, to have been invisible like the sixth sense. Bruce Willis in Sixth Sense and no longer be invisible. We're not invisible anymore. Like I said, there were some tall, rich guys. Maybe they never were invisible, but it's as a group to have been invisible and then in your life, see a shift towards non-invisible is interesting. And it's is it fun? I guess it's interesting to always have been in the conversation because I feel like we've been having conversations about this for like many, many years enough where you've seen our conversation change. Like, on our channel, when we used to talk about this type of topic 10 years ago, it was a different conversation. But now we have to acknowledge the change that's happened, and we're happy for it. Right. And if anything, there should be a conversation of hope and inspiration now. Back then, it was almost like joking about the pain, joking about the sorrow. Right, right. Or, or like well, laughing dude, it I, off. I would say back then, at one point, Andrew, some guys were in such deep pain about it, they couldn't even talk about it. But David, now Asian food is big. You talk about the food space, every food show, there are Asian flavors. So now- or Even the hottest Italian restaurants in New York right now have Asian influences. David, people eating more Asian food, they also eating more Asian, ha! Um, I'll say this, this being said, the slow normalization of dating Asian men being true, it still matters how you surf the wave. And that's where the extra motivation goes into it. I think, guys, you still got to do the work to surf, surf the wave. Yes, because, guys. Because we're all surfers, right? Andrew, you know how the tidal wave comes? But only the best top-tier surfers, they, they, they rode the crest. Some of them, you, you wipe out, you go underneath the wave. You don't ride the wave as good as you. Mm -hmm. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Don't just sit there and do nothing. Use the wave, ride the wave, practice, get better, become better. Use it as motivation. Use it as encouragement. Use it as inspiration. But be better. Still don't be the same. Smalllawsauce.com, guys. Check it out. Until next time, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. What are some other points? I, I, you know what? The one I liked the most, Andrew, was feeling more motivation because it's not hopeless anymore. All right, everybody. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.